Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, I'm joining you from Penn State Mon Alto, several of uh, Cumberland Valley's employees' alma mater. And this is also the site of our uh, training on Saturday, our climber training on Saturday, which is going to be taken, uh, it's going to start at 7 a.m. So if your name's on that list of the uh, announcement that's on a bulletin board near you, uh, you'll be reporting to the commuter lot, which is the closest lot to the entrance, uh, at 7 a.m. And we're going to start right there with uh, gear inspection and going over some ground rolls and uh, layout of the day. And then we're going to come up here and, and get to work. It's going to be like getting, uh, or it's going to be like drinking out of a fire hose. We're going to be cramming a three-day course into less than a day. I say less than a day because we're going to do a lot of talking to get all the information out there and then we're going to get up into some trees and get practicing uh, with some practical practical things. Uh, so if you're coming to that, be sure and bring all of your PPE, so helmet, eyes, ears, and obviously you got to wear work clothes, boots. You know, this isn't going to be a day at the park. This is going to be kind of a work day. There's going to be some work getting done. Uh, it, would also be a good idea to bring plenty to drink, like always, if you're field staff, and a folding chair, so, you know, bag chair, something like that. And if it's available to you, uh, a wheelbarrow or a wagon. I know my family has a wagon we pull our, our kids and our kids stuff around in when we go to the beach, things like that. A way to transport your gear, because we're not all going to be able to drive and park near where we're uh, doing the training and then we're going to be moving around a little bit so a way to carry everything if you have a lot of stuff is a good idea as well so i'm really excited for it it's supposed to be a good day and you got myself uh, dame bricker and brad may as our uh, experienced instructors and like i said it's gonna be a good time be be prepared to learn that's my announcement for for today and for this morning so done with announcements one uh, highlight I wanted to make, and this is also your, uh, your safety meeting for this morning. So earlier this morning I pulled up into the garage at the barn there uh, just to get my brakes checked. Be completely different reason. Uh, not that I would ever let my brakes get down to the point where they're making noise. However, when Rich, one of our mechanics, was checking my truck out, I couldn't pull it completely into the garage. He stopped what he was doing before he jacked up the front end and or it was rear end I believe and he just said hey you know what let me throw another uh, wheel shock out here just to make sure this thing doesn't roll out of the garage and down the ramp and I had to stop and I was a little bit taken back because I'd pulled in it was a park the e-brake was on uh, but that was a very professional move it may have been just one of those little things that happens all the time uh, that they have to deal with up there in the garage you know dealing with that barn bridge it, I'm sure is a pain parking on it all the time especially with, with trucks that need serviced uh, pulling things in and out of there that that need worked on that maybe can't pull themselves in and out of there on their own under their own power. So, but I, I wanted to bring that up because that is the move of a professional. Okay, there's a big difference between a pro and a Joe. Uh, no offense to anybody named Joe, but there's a big difference between a pro and a Joe. So a pro is going to take that extra step to make that situation, that tree, that work site. Uh, just that thing you're working on a little bit safer, a little bit more productive and ensure nothing bad happens. I wanted to bring that up because there's so many times, uh, whether we're a landscaper, hardscaper, a tree guy, mechanic, construction, that we could uh, make things happen the way we've always done it, the way that we know will work, the way we've done it a thousand times. But we know in the back of our mind that there's another step that we could take. There's another uh, line we could set. There's a few more cones we could put out to divert traffic around our work site. We could take the time to put up uh, an additional road sign or put some flagging across the sidewalk. So that's what separates a professional from anybody else, really. So I heard that term from a guy named Jim Roach, who some of you I'm sure know and have seen a uh, tree climber. He's probably 15 or 20 years older than I am and is still tearing down trees but he made the comment of that's a pro move right there and that stuck with me 
and I saw a pro move this morning and I wanted to share that with everybody. So that's all I got. Be sure today and always to take that extra step because we are all professionals at what we do. And if you're coming tomorrow, I look forward to seeing you bright and early, 7 a.m. And that's all I got. Have a great day. After reviewing uh, my announcement earlier, I realized that I forgot to mention, and I have learned that you have to mention everything or people will forget or may forget. Bring your climbing gear goes without saying. If you're going to a climber training, you should bring all of your climbing gear. Anything that you use here at work, or maybe some things even you want to use here at work, but you just haven't dug into yet. You haven't opened it up. You haven't really figured out where the best application is. So don't forget all your climbing gear. Spikes included. We're going to get on some gaffs and do some, some spike work as well. So, had to throw that in there.